Hello everyone, Sun Tenna Guy here, here to bring you back another episode of Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we arrived at the on the wood and got to see the raw power of what the purple Pikmin are capable of, which yes, in this game they are broken as heck. I can't wait to see how how much more broken they can be. And another new thing in the game called Ultra Spice. So far, I have not used it yet, even though I know, even when I already know what it's capable of. Calling all my picks. Or fires geysers, I guess that's what they're called. Uh, in the original game, you could not attack them, and this one, you can just freely destroy them. That would be. Forewarned and careful if any of your Pikmin that are not fire are on here. I mean are on there. They will get burned I actually do want to see if a purple Pikmin can instantly destroy them Oh wow, they actually kind of can but it's actually um Problem is, it's a high-risk, high-reward kind of thing. So, we're just going to... Just destroy all these fire high Fire, um... Hazards here. Or, geysers, excuse me. Once again, I don't know if that's what they're actually called. Look at that. Now that the purple pigment have their flower on, they can now be a lot more faster. So, all we can do now is just play the waiting game for them to get back to the base. Oh yeah, um, I should mention this right now. After this episode, um, Pigment Fort, um, tomorrow, um, I mentioned this already in the last episode that I recorded nine notes of Pikmin 4. <laughs> that one purple. Strith Monolith. So, when I was a kid, I thought this was cake. Yep, I knew what this actually was, so I immediately thought it was cake. Um, but no, what this actually- I don't remember what they're actually called. But this was part of Nintendo's history be, um, before they became a video game company. So it's good, still good, that they um, keep some of their old stuff and they kind of show off here as Easter eggs, like this right here. Cosmic Archive. I don't know what game this is, but I'd be curious as to where it was a Nintendo kind of like a disc cartridge, the best way to explain it. Um, this was for the guess for its time. Um, well, now I know it's not a Mario game or any uh, first party Nintendo game, but um, but anyway, um, I don't know if this was for the Famicom disc drive, super Nintendo disc drive. Um, None of those devices ever reached the um, outside of Japan, to my knowledge. But this is kind of like what this was for back then. It was for the old... Okay, yep. Let's get out here. Or go deeper, excuse me. Oh yeah, back to ours. Um, so tomorrow, Pikmin 4 will be um, taking over. I'm just letting y'all know that right now, Pikmin 4 will be taking will be taking over. Um, tomorrow. Uh, um, though. Four. Close call. 
Uh, but when Pikmin 4 um, is over, then Pikmin 2 will be taking over until um, Horror Month comes out. Ooh, more honey. That's good. Bring up picks. And there's still some flowers that are not blue. Oh ho ho. This bull bear won't. I mean, this bull bear won't know what hit him. I'm just blown away in a maze. Sure, that is what I wanted. Sure, why not? Let's see what this is. Name? Dream? Arch-tech? So this here is another, a bit of Nintendo's history right here. This is known as a Game & Watch. You can basically kind of say that this was Nintendo's first experience with handheld before the Game Boy, before the Game Boy even came out. I actually don't even know. Oh, about that stuff until like, like until uh, Smash Ult. I mean, not Ultimate. Until um, Super Smash. I mean, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ooh, look at all that. Let go here. Two globs of honey. That is good luck. Well, I want that one red wasn't able to get flower. It will. Oh, stop. Okay. That's just nice. So, now I gotta sacrifice some of these flowers. But first, I wanna get this one leaf in there. Ah, I should have saved that, um, that egg. Ah, I feel like an idiot. Okay, here's another part of Nintendo's history. Yep, this is actually real. Luck Waffer. It's a poker thing. Never knew Nintendo was into adult stuff. Treasure, so there's now no more reason to be on this floor. Oh yeah, by the way, I can try your best to get 100 purples on you. Trust me, they're going to be prepping 100 purple pigment. It's going to be something you're going to need in the future. Hopping down. I believe this is the last level. Yep, this is the last one. Final floor. Oh. That's a that's a big ball floor right there. Space guy. I'm probably I mean, it may not be as big as Kong, like, knowing heck. Still is a bigger land that has a butthole. Walmart could probably fit in that little butthole. <laughs> uh, just wait until we have to deal with her some other time. Anyway, throw some picking on her. And me off. Call back your pick, and then after that, she'll be rolling around. By the way, this is a Emperor Blacks. 
The only time you'll ever see this kind of enemy is only in the caves. Um, this is her only meaning of an attack. She just basically rolls around up here. Pikmin are underneath her. They are instantly dead. So far, I'm so no, my pigment got deflowered, at least not yet. Also, you would think that a bunch of bo- Were there boulders falling down? I just saw little rocks kind of exploding a bit. And down she goes. She goes up. How nice. Ooh, another bit of Nintendo's history. How bizarre, this defining black light, it must have been in, in, in it by that creature. I'm wondering how. What an absolute repulsive, our return to Hogatate cannot come soon enough. Louie, you're too lazy, you didn't do anything. Oh. Look at the ground. I guess she used to be a lot smaller, unless this is something else. A little detail I never bothered to look at when I was a kid. How many Pikmin? Three, five. I'll just throw a good few. Then I'll throw a good few towards this corpse. By the way, bring back a um, boss court so it actually gets you a maybe not a whole lot, but a decent of, of money. I believe this gets about 15 pokos. Well, I didn't get a chance to see, but I found out that was 15 pokos. Prototype detector. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this was another of Nintendo's history. This was a tester lover. I have never really heard of it. I guess it was designed to test to see how strong your love was with your partner? Like a girlfriend or a boyfriend? That's my guess. This contractable seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will get contact. I will connect it to my radar. Progressing completed. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach treasure. Okay, there's another detail around here. So it looks like before we came in here, it looks like there were other enemies before us in the course. They fell underneath her weight. No deaths. Good job. Cave complete. A death recovered. I'm okay, let's leave those guys out for a few for a bit. I'm gonna call up these guys right here. I'm gonna have Louie take the take all the reds. Okay, so it looks like those berries haven't grown back yet. Now just take all the purples and come over here. I thought that was it. Olimar, we have a problem. 
the onion has seeds e ejecting seeds. It is malfunctioning. Interesting, it now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you know that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet, planet at once? But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? Actually, yes, there are 95 Pikmin. We actually saw the onion. Only for a short while, unless you were paying more attention, better attention to me. Let's see if I can get to it here. Yep, that, that's what I was looking for. That is a... Um, I don't always remember what they're called, but I know they're really good at giving out nectar and sometimes really good items. Oh, that's one of them. Okay, here is what I want to do. I'm going to have Louie... Well, first I'm going to throw all these pickle around over here. Disband. Hopefully this still works. All these guys over here. Disband them here. Disband. Now, I'm going to get a tiny little bit close. Right here is Louie. I thought he was about to drink it for a moment. The red liquid you see contains refined, ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press down. Something we already know, game. No, not yet. I want to wait. So let's get right there. Now with Olimar, I'm going to push Louie onto the thing. Yeah, look at that. That they still kept that in the game. So if you have two your two cams right next to some ultra spice or another type of thing, you can get two instead of one. And I'm gonna call these Pikmin here. Nah, get back here. A throw on my. Now I'm gonna throw my purples up here first. Did I finish something that I don't know about? I don't know. Oh, I see a blue pellet. Well, even with the blue pellet, there's not much I can do. Well, technically I could go in the cave, but... Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's go in that cave. We got plenty of time anyway. Okay, we'll let this one purple come with us. Oh, these guys are all ready now. Oh, there's actually like one bud right there. Oh well. Actually, on second thought, I'm gonna show you all something. But first, I need to um, make sure I have all my Pikmin, and I need to get gotta get that berry back. By the way, if you leave the berries alone after some time, oh wow! If you leave your berries alone after um, some time, they will eventually pop, and you just wasted that one whole berry right there. So, I'm going to show you all something after this right here is taken care of. Um, back up, I'm trying to say, um, 
So, in the original Pikmin, you had something called End the Day. That was a way of ending the day without needing for the time to be all timed out. Look at that, my English, okay? Ooh, now we got five. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. So, if you press the pause button and go to menu, you have this, go to sunset. Um, if you feel like you have nothing else to do, you can just do that. Like this. This will instantly end the day. And that's about it. Um, this was something I did not show off in either of my first playthrough of Pikmin, well, my first Let's Play of Pikmin, nor my redo of Pikmin. Wow, that was a waste of attack right there. Trust me, I do have a decently good reason why I chose to end the day instead of doing another uh, another tunnel. Lost no pigment, that is really good. How's process all Omar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press CR for a close-up view of the action. Okay, I think this will be now a good place to end off today's episode. So, next time on Pikmin 2, we'll be returning back to the Awakening Wood and entering the next cave. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.